Hi, today I want to share with you a useful screen capture and documentation tool. The tool records processes to auto-generate step-by-step visual guides complete with text and screenshots. It is so easy and straightforward that any beginner can create professional level process documentation. The site is scribehow.com. You will understand the power of this site when I show you a quick demonstration. As soon as you open scribehow.com, you will be asked to sign up. Once you sign up, you will be able to download the Chrome extension which is extremely handy to create process documentation. Let me show you the demonstration quickly. Let us say I am a team leader. And I want to show a new team member how to use pixabay.com and I want to create a simple process document that instructs anyone to search and find a vector image of a ball in pixabay.com. So let us see how to create the documentation. The first step is go to new and you will get this drop down menu. It says record a scribe. Let us click on it. It says scribe will open the tab and start capturing steps automatically. That is exactly what we want. So let us click on new tab. Here I am going to search for pixabay.com and hit enter. Then let me go to all images and search for vectors. And here I am going to search for a ball and hit enter. I get various options here. I want to choose this one. Click. And here I want to click on free download. I want an SVG image. So let me select vector graphic and then say download and the job is done. Let me go here. This is the Chrome extension. Let me click on it. Now the recording is going to be stopped when I say stop recording. That's it. Now here is the new tab where the workflow is shown. Let us try and understand this in detail. So you can create these kind of beautiful workflows for free of cost. First, I want to change this title so I can click on this pencil icon and let us call this demo to find a vector ball. If I want, I can add a description search for a ball in pixabay.com. So that is my description for it. And then this scribe is only visible to you. You can make any changes before you share it. So this is the first step, navigate to pixabay.com, beautiful. The second step is click all images. Can you see here, there is a mark which shows where exactly you need to click, beautiful. Then go to click vectors and you can see the representation here. Then search for vectors field. So that is what is shown here, type ball and enter. So that is our search word, excellent. And then click this image. If at any point of time I want to edit my instructions, I can do so. Let me click here and say. So that is my additional instruction. So this is automatically added here. If I want to download the screenshot, I can go here and I can say download screenshot. If I don't want this step to be shown, I can delete step. I can also copy link to this step. I can paste it wherever I need it. I will talk about this a little bit later when we talk about these options here. Let us go down. This is seventh step. Here we say click on free download and you can see the representation. And in that you need to click on vector graphic very neatly shown and then click download done. Now let us see how to share it. When I click on share, I have multiple options to share this particular document. I can send it to somebody by typing their email or I can do smart embed. I can embed this snippet in any page like say on WordPress or Sway or any of those places. You can learn more about this by clicking on this documentation here or the best of all you can export it as a PDF. Even if you have a free account with Scribe How, you would be able to export this as PDF and that is the best part about this. Of course, if you want to have this exported as HTML or as Markdown, which is usually used in Notion and GitHub, or if you want to export it to Confluence, you need to have a pro account. Otherwise, if you have a free account, you can export it as a PDF. I'll come to this a little bit later so you can see how beautiful that document looks. Let me click outside. You have the option to add this documentation to a page or you can duplicate this. If you have created a team inside scribehow.com, you can move that to a team or you can duplicate this particular document to a team. Let us see the next one, which is step actions. And this is a very important one. 
there is magic merge and there is combine steps now what does magic merge do scribe will automatically look at the various images and it will recognize if there are steps that seem quite similar those similar steps will be combined automatically using magic merge option now if you want to do it manually and you want to combine some of the steps then you can go to combine steps you can of course copy some of the steps and add more instructions so you have full control on how you want this documentation to look let us go to collaboration you are allowed to make public and team comments even if you are a free user however to allow feedback you need to have a pro account now finally the stats and info are by default it shows when is the documentation created when was it last updated who is the person who edited it everything is given here let us go to share and let me show you how the pdf looks when i click on it go to export and it generates the file this usually takes only a few seconds as you can see here this is an extremely fast rendering when i go to view pdf let me show you how this pdf document looks can you see here it says scribe here when you have a pro account you can have a branded documentation for yourself here you can see the second step which is very clearly written and the screenshot I told you that it is possible for you to download the screenshot. However, if you have a pro account, you have the option to customize the screenshot the way you want. For example, you can redact some sensitive information. You can also crop the image. You have some ways to play with these kind of screenshots when you have the pro account. Let me go down here. So we have the steps very beautifully shown and once you are very happy with this, you can of course save this and you can download it and you can share it on the email now let me go to scribe workspace and let me show you what are some of the differences between a scribe free account and scribe pro account let me click on this and here you see the difference the biggest difference is this with a free account you can work with any web based application however if you want to record desktop apps then you need to have a pro account for example if you want to show a demonstration of whatever that happens on a website you can do so with a free account however if you want to work with programs like say word excel powerpoint etc then you need a pro account and as i mentioned earlier you have the option to create branded guides when you have pro account you can include your own logo and third one is as i told you customizable screenshots and fourth as i told you you can export it to confluence html and markdown versions if you are into creating process documentation or if you're a teacher and you want to share the steps to your students or if you're a team leader and you want to create a documentation to set the process for how to work with different situations you can do all of that using scribe how i found this app to be so useful that i thought of sharing it with you please go ahead get the free chrome extension and play with it all you want and if at any point you feel the need to upgrade to pro so you can work on the desktop apps as well then you can click on the link in the description box below the video and make the purchase this is our affiliate link we will get a small commission with no additional charge to you this is a slightly different video than the usual ones i create since i found this to be such a useful tool i thought i wanted to share it with you and that is why i created this video so go ahead and check out scribehow.com and tell me what you think about it in the comment section below if you liked this video then you will really love this other video that we created called remove background for free using one of the windows app that you already own this app allows you to remove the background of photos even if the photo is quite busy and it does so without any loss in resolution and you can do it as many times as you want and this is totally free it is worth learning about this app I will leave a link to this video in the description box below and also right now on your screen you can see the video link you can click on the link watch that video next and learn about a very useful app i'll see you inside that video